Today we have a Shanghai sticker concept that we're going to be taking a look at. Obviously the RMRs are going on right now and they are wrapping up. Uh, I think European RMRB is the last one still ongoing and it's going to be wrapping up very, very soon. And that means we're going to be getting those official sticker announcements uh, very, very soon as well. We're going to be finding out what exactly the Shanghai stickers are going to be looking like, whether they're going to be bordered or borderless, uh, how that's going to impact the whole market and things going forward. Um, so obviously in the meantime, looking at some really awesome sticker concepts uh, and talking about the different ways that this could go is about as good as we can do and it's still pretty fun. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, an automated CS2 trading platform where you can turn your skins into new ones simple and easy. All you have to do is click on the skins that you want to get rid of, click on the skins that you want, and then click trade items. Now if you don't have enough balance for the items you want, you can use code GERM to get up to $5 free bonus on your first trade. You can also use that same code GERM uh, to get a 5% extra deposit bonus on top of the 30% deposit bonus that Skins Monkey is already offering. So there's really no reason to not go check out Skins Monkey with that first link in the description below today. So this is the latest Shanghai sticker concept that we have from Arco Digital and a person he was working on them with as well. Um, Arco's a guy who we have looked at uh, some of his concept stickers in the past and those videos have done very well because uh, especially for these uh, tournament uh, stickers, it seems like Arco really gets inspired and puts a lot of thought and ideas into this and uh, he wants to inspire the community to create their own kind of sticker concepts as well, but also hopefully eventually inspire Valve to actually make something uh, bordered and interesting and more unique than we have been getting recently. So you can see some of the different stuff in the background. He has some uh, some team stickers, some autographs and stuff uh, like that going on. I did want to look into these a little bit more deep. So um, he did make a team spirit. Uh, one of these got a couple of different concepts for us to look at. And the interesting part about these stickers and something that um, even Valve has been doing more and more of is how they scrape. So they start off with the entire background uh, and then the, the nice hollow in the middle. And then you have the, the one scrape that gets you to just the dragons. Uh, and then the second scrape which just gets you to a little insignia in the middle and then the last scrape um, gets you to just like a straight up borderless sticker so in some ways uh, this is kind of the best of both worlds where you're getting uh, one a sticker that is very representative of Shanghai obviously you have uh, you know the dragons a lot of Chinese symbolism and stuff going on in the background so it's a cool design in that way um, but you also give people different options of how much of a border they want to have you want the big border you want the medium border you want the small border or if you can scrape it all the way down to borderless now Personally, I don't know if I'm a fan of letting people scrape all the way down to borderless because, again, that gets us kind of back in this issue of having way too many borderless stickers right now or having way too many borderless sticker options uh, and not being able to differentiate them. I would still like if you could maybe scrape it down to like some kind of small or minimalist border or something like that. But um, we do get to see what this uh, spirit sticker looks like on some crafts and stuff. And I don't know. To me, it looks cool. And I, I think the design is close. Those are a little bit too square, a little bit too bulky, a little bit too big. Um, you know, before the scrapes, but as you scrape it down, the, the, the smaller designs on this thing, I do think look pretty good. Uh, and ultimately at the end of the day, what we're going to have to get to, um, with a good looking bordered sticker design, because obviously a bad looking bordered sticker design that does not resonate with the community is going to be a disaster. People are not going to vibe with that and it's going to sell terrible. And then Valve's going to be like, Hey, see, I told you so. This is why we don't make bordered stickers because borderless sells so good, which is something people keep arguing. People are like, Oh, of course Valve's going to make the borderless sticker. They're making so much money off of it. But again, the big counterpoint there is the fact that and this is also the wild card sticker which looks pretty sick wild card is a um, unique sticker that we don't have in the game right now that we are going to be getting for Shanghai one of the very few ones in this Shanghai set so that's at least cool he made a signature for wildcard. He did the wildcard, whatever. But again, the big thing to note there is that uh, Copenhagen sales were down massively from Paris. Copenhagen sales were nowhere near Paris. And if this downward trend continues, then, hey, maybe borderless stickers aren't going to be selling as good as everyone's acting like. Because the big problem is, if you have so many borderless stickers out there, there's no reason or rush or hurry to buy uh, the new borderless stickers. And especially at higher prices than you can even get for the previous ones. Why would I buy the new Shanghai sticker for a dollar or, or 25 cents or whatever when I can literally get Paris for 12 or 13 cents. It just doesn't make sense. We just don't need uh, more borderless stickers at this time. But uh, yeah, I, again, I don't know if this Arco design is necessarily the one or if people would love it, if it would sell well or whatever, but I do just appreciate that he is at least um, making some different concepts, um, showing us what they look like on crafts, giving us some different ideas. And again, hopefully he's inspiring the community to make more of their own designs. And hopefully at the end of the day, he's showing Valve that uh, people actually can appreciate and do like some new border stickers. I mean, me and myself, I like a lot of border stickers. I think DreamHack 14s are really sick. I think uh, Cato 15s are really sick. I think uh, Boston, Atlanta, Columbus, those are some awesome stickers. I think they can be used really creatively on crafts and on some good looking crafts. Uh, and I think the stickers themselves are really fun to collect and look at and have in your inventory and collection. Um, 
here we have obviously a staple of all sticker collection at this point is Mao's. Um, you know, if you want your sticker collection to be good, if you want it to resonate with the community, you need a good looking Mao sticker. And I actually do think the Mao's red um, goes really, really good with China. Obviously, a lot of the Chinese stuff is red. You know, the flag, you have a lot of um, things that look good uh, with those those Chinese colors and stuff. And, and the Mao sticker being that, again, this scrapes all the way down to a complete borderless with no, like, uh, maybe like a small Shanghai thing at the top or whatever. But it, it scrapes down to a very, very clean, clean borderless, which is crazy. And it's just something I don't think we're going to get. But, um, yeah, I think that Mao's red on that uh, little bit of a colored background does look good. I think he did an overall good job with these stickers. Um, like I said, we've looked at some of the stickers in the past and community uh, seems to always, um, you know, they, they seem to go over pretty well. He seems to take a, a lot of time and thought and effort into these. And I also like that he tries to make them relevant to the thing. I know when we looked at, um, I think, uh, Copenhagen sticker design that he had, he tried to make it relevant to Copenhagen. Now he's doing trying to make it uh, relevant to Shanghai. I like that he actually shows everything on the crafts as well. You kind of get like the full in-depth videos and everything. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to highlight uh, these uh, stickers overall. Again, is Shanghai going to be borderless? Is it going to be bordered? I don't know. Uh, I think at this point, uh, I would probably lean towards the fact that Valve is probably going to give us one more borderless set. They're probably going to need one to really bomb and really tank and really sell poorly before they decide to go a different direction. Uh, but I do think that if we do get another borderless sticker set for Shanghai, it will sell significantly less in Copenhagen. And I predicted that Copenhagen would sell significantly less in Paris. Some people didn't believe me. Some people thought I was an idiot, whatever, crazy. Uh, but I was right. Copenhagen did sell significantly less. And again, the problem with Shanghai is that we have so few uh, new uh, unique borderless stickers, and that is a big, big, big problem for the set on top of the fact that, again, why would anyone buy this when you can get Paris for so much cheaper? Um, I do think we had 3D Max uh, actually qualify for uh, the Shanghai Majors. That's at least one more unique sticker, but I literally think it's like four or five unique stickers uh, if the set does end up being borderless that would be coming to the game, and to me, that's just not enough. That's not enough that people are going to get excited about. That's not enough that people are going to rush in and buy. Now, obviously, again, that could make Shanghai a better investment overall actually if people aren't excited about it and people aren't buying it in uh huge numbers or whatever this FlyQuest one actually looks pretty sick and again FlyQuest is one of these new unique stickers we would be getting but uh yeah if people aren't excited about it then it could make it a little bit better investment but it's not going to be good for Valve it's not going to be good for the teams the players the tournament organizers whatever um so, so yeah that's why I like looking at these sticker concepts that's why I like when the community actually um does some cool stuff like this and then finally we have the Navi one that he made here as well uh yeah so I just think this is pretty cool I love looking at uh Steam community workshop items. I love looking at sticker concepts. I love highlighting um, the best ones that I find in the community. I love making videos and talking about this stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's a better chance of Copenhagen or of Shanghai being bordered than there was for Copenhagen, but I still think I have to lean towards uh, Shanghai probably being borderless. That's kind of what I'm preparing for. Uh, and obviously I do think that is going to make Paris drop again. I think it's going to make Stockholm and Antwerp drop again. I think it's going to make Copenhagen. The, the small amount of profitability we've seen from Copenhagen so far, I think is going to be wiped out. And I think it's going to be very, very disappointing but I can continue to hope and pray uh, that there will be some kind of border um, on these stickers for Shanghai. So this uh, really cool major, you know, we're headed to China. We're, we're getting to do this thing. I think it's going to be a massive major. Um, get it, get these stickers to stand out and be remembered and be different because I think years from now when we see all these borderless stickers, they're not going to be really remembered to a time period or a tournament or an event. They're just going to be all the same. They're going to all blend together. But if we actually get something crazy and different and unique, then it could actually stand out and kind of bring you back to that time and make you remember that tournament. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, but obviously I hope it happens for Shanghai. I hope it happens for one of the majors in 2025. Um, we will have to wait and see, but, um, this is at least one really, really cool sticker concept that I wanted to highlight and show to you guys. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're preparing, we're getting ready. And as soon as we get the information about what these stickers are actually going to look like, this will be the best place to find that. And I'll get that information out to you guys as well. And hopefully give you guys some advice of what to do, um, in the markets once we know, uh, what Shanghai is going to look like as well, but pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you the next one until then. Peace.